I happen to be a sixth generation Santa Barbara person. My family's been here for quite some time. I rode a lot and spent a lot of time in the mountains and I wanted to figure out a way for it to be a job. I always knew that that's what I wanted to do. I've been working with Graham since 05, shoeing horses, doing pack trips. Most of my spirit comes from the American Indian that rode the plains, living that Roman life that uh, was the most admirable lifestyle. So from that spirit came the cowboy spirit. And you know it when you see it. Tony was this real colorful guy, and he was always looking for something else to do. His outlet was in the backcountry. He started this company in the late 60s. He started packing stuff in for people, and it just it evolved into those Padres Wilderness Outfitters. And it was just the love of the outdoors, and it was the love of wildlife. You can take people and introduce them to this backcountry. He wasn't real super educated or anything like that, but he had a ton of experience, and he had a huge personality. He taught me to shoe horses, and gave me lots of jobs on the ranch and then started taking me in the back country and taught me how to pack mules and taught me a lot of stuff about life. And, and if it wasn't for him, I really don't know what I'd be doing. I was working for Tony and it was just heavy duty rain. He was busy uh, clearing out a Quonset hut there in La Conchita and a friend of mine called me and said, hey, did you hear the news? The hill there at La Conchita she just slid. It was like a 300 foot wave of mud. I saw some friend of mine, I can't remember who it was, but they told me uh, what had happened. They said them rocks were coming off the hillside about 100 miles an hour, and uh, it hit him in the head. Grabbed his dog and just started taking care of the horses and kind of following the last command, you know? And that was it. Graham had it in his blood. He was going to be a cowboy. It was a natural progression. The transition to Graham was perfect. And then this one we're going to raise and play. So that's a good load. God. I just expanded on what Tony was doing. I remembered all those little dreams and ideas he had. I feel like I have a list of them and I'm trying to knock them out. Here we go. Heads up. Man is most at home in nature, I think. Sleeping outside, seeing bears, and catching trout, and sitting in natural hot springs, and eating food on the fire. I think what draws me to these spots and uh, keeps me going is that uh, I'm trying to open people up to the rich history we have here and uh, show them what, what the outdoors has to offer. Our main purpose with Los Padres Outfitters is to uh, get packed into the mountains and, and see a lot of this country that people otherwise would never get an opportunity to see. You can get anybody in, in this sort of setting and then all of a sudden everyone's equal, you know. It's fun to bring people out and get them out of their element and really discover what they're all about. So with the Dutch ovens, I always put everything all, you know, do it all together. What's your theory on cooking? Theory. You know, just hot and lots of it. We get folks from all different walks of life going on these trips with us. We've never had a bad trip. It's, people love it. People tell us it's life changing. It becomes a, a real accomplishment for them. My son Hugo, he just turned four a few days ago and uh, he's into everything I am and it's a lot of fun watching him kind of pick up with what I'm doing. Hopefully it's something we can do together and then he'll decide if it's for him or not. And whatever he decides to do, I'm all for it. Almost felt you touching me just now. I plan to stick with it forever. I'm just real fortunate I got real lucky. And I wish I knew which way at the end of the day, I, you know, I may not have a lot of money, but I'm happy and I'm free. On my days off, I'm usually riding a horse. 
So you do what you love and when you're not doing it, you find yourself doing it anyways, I guess. Wonder what I ought to do If I could only